Hi guys, welcome to another workout session with Madame Blunt. For this workout, you'll be needing an exercise mat, a set of dumbbell or any weighted object you have, and your water, of course. Now, today's workout is going to be a bit full. Let me use the word full. So you are going to be having four segments of workout. Let's warm up as we talk about today's workout. Okay, so today's workout, we're going to be having four segments. We're going to be working every part of your body, every part. We're going to start with your shoulders, your bicep and triceps. And for each of these segments, I'm calling them segments because it's the easiest way for me to explain it. For each of these segments, we're going to be having three workouts or three exercises. So we're going to be doing our shoulder, our arms, and our tricep and biceps. We have three exercises so to work these areas. Then we're going to repeat it. So we're going to have two sets in each segment. Then from there, we're going to move to our core. Three exercises, two rounds. And then from there, we're going to move to our quads. Our quads, of course, is our thighs. We're going to work our thighs. I'm very sure you would like to rock a taut and firm tie yeah something that looks strong in those jeans okay then after that we'll be going to our hamstrings very important we don't work this place as much as we should then our butts which is our bum who doesn't want to have a standing bum right all right everything should take about 30 minutes 28 minutes actually but let's say 30 minutes because after that we're going to do our stretches Okay, then beside the water bottle, you're going to be seeing um, my dumbbells for today. I was trying to explain to you guys in my previous video that sometimes I use dumbbells, the main dumbbells, and then sometimes I use my own makeshift dumbbell. Now, this dumbbell is actually made out of sand. So you just get any empty bottle, plastic bottle of course, in your house, and then you fill it with sand, and then you have your dumbbell, depending on the kind of weight you want. For example, I actually started with that 5CL Coca-Cola plastic bottle. Then I went further to the 50CL bottled water, of course, plastic bottle. Then now I'm using this um, pop drink. You can also get it from the 200 Nera Coke uh, plastic bottle. But whatever works, right? So use anything you have in your house that is equal. You don't want one side heavier than the other, okay? So if you have dumbbell, use dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbell, you can make use of yours. You can actually also use your body weight. How are we doing with that warm-up? We are almost done. We are almost almost done with the warm-up. Alright. I won't be talking much during the workout. Or you won't be hearing my voice during the workout. But just that whenever I smile at you, I'm actually trying to encourage you. And whenever you see me do thumbs up, I'm trying to tell you that yeah, I know you can do it. So let's rock this workout together. Yeah, we're going to rock it together. I actually feel like I'm dancing here, like I'm doing all this um, South African dance. <laughs> all right, the last warm up for today are wall push ups. This wall push ups actually works wonders for your shoulders and your arms. So if you have the um, fat in your arms, if your arms is lo um, hanging loose whenever you shake them, these or this shoulder press up, this wall press up is very good for you. All right, warm up done. Now, our first segment shoulder, tricep, and biceps. Let's get started. I'm going to do a demonstration, then you can just follow my lead after that. Now what you want to do for this workout is make sure your toes are pointing outward. Are you seeing my toes? And then every time you close your arms, you are talking in your tailbone. Okay? So talk in your stomach. Talk in your tailbone. Yes. We're almost done. 
and you can see I'm breathing. So exhale when you lift your hand, inhale when you bring it down. So whenever you see my mouth, do you? That's me breathing. I don't play with my breathing. We are almost done. Five minutes, five seconds to go. And we're done. Now, our next workout is going to be the kickbacks, the arm kickbacks. So now you are trying to make you are going to make sure you tuck in your stomach always. And then are you seeing my arm the way I don't swing it back carelessly? I swing it back gently because you don't want to crack any major bone in your arms. <clears throat> You don't want to crack any major bone in your hand so swing it back gently make sure your arm goes past your back and you're there keep your head in a neutral position i have to smile at you guys so that's why i keep moving my head like now i just smiled <laughs> okay you're almost done we're done yeah i felt it so that's me shaking my head telling you i felt it other side Come on, ladies. I know it's it's challenging. I don't like using the word hard for my workouts. I know it's a little bit challenging, but you can do it. And we are done. I'm already sweating buckets. God. Now our next workout, which is the arm raises, front raises, of course. Now this I don't need to say much here, but just make sure your arms don't go past your shoulders. They should stop at your shoulder level, okay? And let's start. Remember to breathe in and out. Don't stop breathing. Don't stop breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Alright, we are done. Now we're going to repeat everything, but first shake off your hand. Yeah, I need to dab my face, of course. Please shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And make sure you're not holding your weight when you're shaking it out, okay? Please don't want to grow muscles in those arms, especially if you're a lady working out. So shake it out. And now we're going to do everything, but now you won't be hearing my voice because, of course, you know what you're supposed to do. The first one was like a rehearsal, and now I did the main performance. So let's do our performance.
all right ladies segment one is done drink water all right segment two we have our call which is stomach of course so you can take a minute to rest then you come back for segment two but if you don't need the rest you can jump right in our first workout for this segment is the reverse crunches now you see how i went down carefully you don't want any space in between your back and the floor you want to eliminate all the spaces by tucking in your tailbone now when you lift your leg make sure your back your entire back is still in contact with the floor you don't want any space are you seeing that good don't do this don't let space enter don't get carried away let's start okay so you just want to tap your heels gently to the ground and bring it back make sure your stomach is not puffing in and out so control your breathing it's really hard but control the breathing don't pump out your stomach so whenever your leg is coming up you breathe out when it's going down you breathe in are you seeing my lips i'm breathing out then in we are almost done and we are done so our next workout is the torso twist which is also known as the russian twist you want to keep a straight spine don't punch your back keep a straight spine and then just make contact with the floor beside you so you're actually just twisting your torso hence the name you can also hold a weight for this workout you can hold a weight you can hold your exercise ball or your dumbbell as you twist from side to side don't lose the straight spine don't hunch your back we are almost done ladies we are doing it and we are done okay yeah i feel like now our next workout is the plank now for this plank the same thing goes you don't want to hunch your back no sorry you don't want to cave in your back you actually want to hunch your back right now if you are doing the modified one two don't cave in your back hunch your back so tuck in your tailbone like i just did so whatever one you're doing the modified or the full one just make sure you tuck in your tailbone your tailbone is like almost your bumps area tuck it in and then you stay in that position and make sure your stomach is tight so tuck in your stomach as well we are almost done you don't have to do the full one you can actually do the modified one all of them works work <laughs> okay and we're going for round two
segment three is the quads, which is our thighs. Our first workout in this segment is the squats. Now, for this squats, you don't want your knees going past your toes. You want your knees to be behind your toes, and you want your bum to go down, as if you're sitting down on a chair behind you. Okay? I love squats. Just make me feel so sexy. Shoot your bum out, ladies. Shoot it out. <laughs> and whenever you come up, please remember to talk in your stomach when you come up. For your stomach to be talking at all time, just give an extra talk every time you come up and don't forget to breathe in and out. Yes, I'm encouraging you with my smile. Yeah, yeah. Now, our second workout is the lunges. The lunges. Is actually a very good exercise for your thighs. Now you don't want to sit, you don't want to put your weight on the front leg, you want to put your weight on the back leg, okay? And then the front leg, make sure your knee doesn't go past your toes, which are just the way you did it squat. And when you sit, you are sitting straight, don't bend your back, keep your spine straight when you sit, okay? Do you see that? Yeah, that's it can do it. You know one thing about this workout is that you actually get better. You you don't ever get worse in a workout, you get better. So when you start it, it might actually be challenging. You might feel your, your knees paining you. But as you continue, consistency is the key. I always say that you actually see it getting easier by the day. So if you don't do it well today, don't beat yourself up. You will do it better tomorrow. My stomach is always tucked in. Always tucked in. Let's smile through the pain, ladies. You are doing it. You are getting this right. We are almost done. Almost done with these lunges. And we are done. Okay. Now, our next workout is the thigh abductions. The thigh abductions is good for your inner thighs and your outer thighs so what you want to do you want to keep a straight spine you don't want to hunch your back keep a straight spine hold the ground for support but you can actually lift your um arms up and just if you're like a badass you know if you're a badass you can just lift your arms up and just go at it but if you're a beginner like me let's put our arms down okay you can also hold the weight in front of you and all you have to do is just open your legs and close them back when you open you inhale and when you close you exhale okay you can always rest and then come back to it so exhale every time you close the legs okay you're almost done and we are done let's go for round two now I'm doing these voiceovers because I just realized that for a while now I've not been able to do my workouts or post workout because my children are always making noise and recording my video. So now what I do, I'll just record my workout. Then when they are asleep, I do the voice notes and it's working out very well for me. I'm enjoying this right now, so expect more of this.
You see, I'm holding weight for this last workout. You can do that too. And then you can just go up and down. The main thing is that just make sure you don't lose your balance. You don't lose the form, which is very important. And if you're tired, you rest and then you continue. And we're done with our second Oh, that's third segment. We're done with our third segment. We're almost done, ladies. We're actually almost done. Drink your water and let's go to segment four, which is your bum and the back of your thigh. Now, for our deadlift, you don't want to lock your knees. So, put some softness in those knees. Keep a straight back. Don't bend from the waist. Bend from your um, hips, okay? And don't let those dumbbells go past your shin area. They are getting to your toes, it means you are bending so much. Talk in your stomach. Talk in your stomach. Very important. Our next workout is the hip thrust. It's also known as the glute bridge. Okay? So what you want to do is make sure there is no space between the back and the floor. And then you just thrust your hips to the ceiling. It's so easy, right? Make sure your stomach does not lose that, um, what is it called, the tautness. So always tuck it in, okay? Always tighten your stomach, always. Any workout you are doing, even if it's an outdoor workout, you are jogging or you are cycling, always tuck in your stomach. You are actually working on your stomach at that same time. Now the next workout, which is our last workout in this segment is the donkey kick you don't want to cave in your back you want your back to maintain a straight spine and you don't want to move your back too much when you are kicking your your legs you don't want to do this you don't want to be moving your back try to keep your spine as straight as possible now when you bring your leg in you breathe out when you kick it out, you inhale. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Don't forget to breathe. And don't forget to always tuck in your stomach. That is actually hard. So you're working on your core right now. Even though you're working on your hamstring or your bone. These last sets of workouts is going to make your bone so, so firm. Like I said, consistency is the key. So today's workout we've touched every part of your body you can do this workout two or three times in a week Yes, ladies, the, la the last round for today's workout, the last round. We are almost done. See me, I'm even stumbling. All right. Let's do this and know we are done. If you couldn't finish this workout because you are pressed for time, I have other short workouts. So just check out my channel. You are going to see different exercises that will fit your time frame, okay? And guys or ladies, please don't forget to subscribe at the end of this workout. 
and give this video a like if you actually enjoyed this workout you know what i mean by enjoying that enjoying workout terms we are almost done You can do it, that's me saying you can do it. And this is the last workout for today. Woohoo! Oh, that was just awkward. I'm not going to do that again. I'm not doing that again. Yes, yeah, as I've said that earlier, your arms should not be in front of you, they should be underneath your shoulders. Exactly underneath your shoulders, you shouldn't stay forward, you should just be underneath your shoulders, okay? You should be in line with your shoulders. all right we are so done now let's stretch stretching very very important oh yeah let's stretch And that is the end of today's body workout. Thanks for joining us today. I hope to see you next time. Alright, have a wonderful day and bye.